Hello children, here I am back with the second part of the chapter Chips. Those soldiers made a big fuss for this. The youngest child said thoughtfully, Boiled potatoes are not so special, said the eldest. That's when the grown-ups started worrying. Let's add some herbs, said Grandma, putting some into the pot. And a few mushrooms, said Grandpa. So your children, the soldiers made a big fuss for this. The youngest child said thoughtfully. He said that the soldiers may make a fuss. Because boiled potatoes are not so special. Now what happened? All the grown-ups, means all the elders, they started worrying. Then grandma said, let's add some herbs into the pot. And then grandpa suggested, let's add some mushrooms also into the pots. Of course, cried mother and sent the children to the forest to collect the juiciest mushrooms and berries. So children, here the mother also agreed to what the grandpa said. So she sent the children to the forest to collect some lovely mushrooms and berries. When they returned, everyone added just a few more ingredients and then a few more and a few more still until they had made a pot of a delicious smelling stew. So children, once these children returned back from the forest, all of them got together and they started adding in ingredients. You know what is the meaning of ingredients? Items that are used to make a dish. Okay. So they all started adding something or the other, something or the other. And then finally they got a lovely pot of delicious smelling stew. The sumptuous smell wafted around the kitchen. The children's little bellies rumbled and their eyes grew wide with hunger. When can we eat? they asked. So children, the sumptuous means delicious smell. Waft means passed around through the air, around the kitchen. Even when your mommy cooks something delicious, then don't we get the lovely aroma, the lovely smell around in the home? Yes, so the same smell rum means it was moving about in the room and the children rumbled means made a loud and deep sound of hunger. When you are hungry then you make some kind of sound, you know. So yes, they rumbled and then they said, when can we eat this? They started asking their grandpa, grandma and their mother. When the soldiers leave, said the mother. Covering the pot with a lid so that the smell would not tempt them. Just then there came a knock at the door. It was 12 noon. So suddenly the children started asking the mother, when can we eat this? So mother said, after the soldiers leave, then only you all can eat. And what she did, she covered the pot with a lid so that that smell would not tempt them more. Okay, tempt them means make them want to do something. Okay, and suddenly there was a knock at the door because it was 12 o'clock. So who do you think must have come to the door, children? Sit still, mother whispered to the children and hide the peelings for our soup. Then she opened the door and invited the soldiers to sit at the table in the little kitchen. So children, the, as soon as the mother heard a knock at the door, she told the children to sit still 
and to hide all the peelings remember they had peeled all the vegetables yes so she asked them to hide all those peelings for their soup and then she went and opened the door and when she opened the door who did she find there yes she found the soldiers waiting there so she invited them and asked them to sit at the table in the small kitchen the family watched the soldiers as mother carried the pot from the fire to the table the fair head soldier took some rye bread from his pocket and tore off chunks to share with his friend now what happened children the family means all the children they were sitting and they were watching how the mother carried the hot pot of stew to the table and then what did they see that the fair head soldier the soldier with the white hair he took out some rye bread okay and you know what is the meaning of rye bread it is a bread made with rye flour okay from his pocket and tore off means to break up small chunks chunks means pieces broke off tore off and made small chunks and what did he do with the, that bread he shared it with his friends what if they don't like it what will they do the family wondered now because the the soldiers they wanted chips right but the family did not know how to make chips and in return they made stew so now they were wondering that what if the soldiers don't like it what are they going to do to us they all started wondering about this mother lifted the lid from the pot the soldiers both stared in disbelief as she ladled the potato broth into their bowls so now as the mother removed the lid from the pot both the soldiers they started staring into the pot okay and while they were staring they were not appreciating means they were not liking when she was serving the potato broth means the potato stew into their bowls so they looked at one another means they were not agreeing to what she had been serving them so my dear children with this i come to the end of part 2 in my next presentation i will be taking up the last part of the chapter that is part 3 children you will be getting a worksheet please do go through this presentation carefully and understand it and do the worksheet that is being given to you thank you children